the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops. And it's going to be a beautiful day that's plain to see. Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today. Hello everybody. Have we got a great show for you today? Yep, we sure do. And we're going to be discussing one of my favorite go-to baits from Bass Pro Shops. And we're going to show you how to fish it and even show you some tips about how to use it. Hey, we're also going to be telling you about some new products and some that are not so new, but almost new, which include electronics, fishing line, outboards, hooks, rods, reels, tackle boxes, and even some more. So how about it? You ready to get things started? I thought so. Let's go. All righty. Hey, let me show you the Bass Pro Shop bait I'm talking about. It's called... Bass Pro Shop Roundhead Pro Weedless Jig. And it's available in four sizes. A 5 16 3 16 a quarter, and a 3 8 Now this bait is really something once rigged. With a skirt and a Bass Pro Shop Swimming Elite Chunk. First and foremost, the bass really like it. And I've had super success with it since I started fishing it several years ago. Now what makes it so effective, it's weedless and the round head can be worked through many forms of cover without hanging. And the chunk has a solid body that provides tremendous action and stays put on the neck of the jig. You know, to fish well, by that I mean, when making a cast, believe you've made a good one and have total confidence on what the lure is doing at all times, being constantly aware of your presentation, and most importantly, having confidence in it. And you can certainly bet I do in this one. Got one on. But, ooh, look at it. Chunky bass. I'm here, Buster. Okay. Oh, for me. We got it good. If I ever caught a 10 pounder, I'd be the place I'd want to hook him. It's a nice one, isn't it? Bye bye. Every year, writers ask me, What new products are you most excited about for the coming year? And my answer is usually the same it's electronics, you know, fish finders, the sonar units. Now, for years and years, fishermen have used these devices to locate depth, structural features, cover, and fish. But, for the most part, you're looking at what is already passed under your boat. But today, there's a new kit on the block. It's called Live Action. The good folks at Garmin Marine are playing a whole new game in live sonar. Their latest evolution is Panoptics Live Scope. Like Garmin says, this product has opened so many possibilities that anglers have never seen before. The real key with Panoptics is not showing the past, it's showing the present. Real-time sonar. What you see is what's happening. That's one right there. Good one. It felt good. You got a good mouth of it, though. There it is. 
guys. You little old fat thing, you. Pudgy. Little pudgy thing. Bill Dance Outdoors. Sponsored by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel, catch fish anywhere. And by Mercury Marine, go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is brought to you by the Tennessee Department of Tourist Development. Come experience the kind of beauty that can only be made in Tennessee. Go online today for your free Tennessee vacation guide. Hello, what's happening? Huh? What's happening, Buster? What's happening there, old man? You wallering around there? Get the thing out of your face. Little punchy thing. Here we are. Did you go back home? Tell everybody I'm up here. Here's something fairly new and really neat. A good friend of mine designed for Gamakatsu. The good hook people. It's called a G Finesse hybrid worm hook. Available in eight sizes, ranging from one alt to eight alt. It's a tremendous hook. What I really like about it, I call it really a two-in-one hook. The real key to it, you just don't miss fish with it. Why? Because the hook angle and the relationship to the line tie, that's the real key. The hook point is a shade higher than the hook eye. So on the hook set, all the force is transferred to the hook point and the hook being nano-coated, it penetrates extremely quick through the soft plastic bait into the fish's mouth. Now for the second part of the two-in-one, the hybrid has a wider bend that allows you to use a bulkier bait for better hook sets, as always, and keeps your bait perfectly straight on the hook to prevent line twists and hang-ups. Something else, remember to match your hook size to the size of the bait you're using. Example, if you're using a 4-inch tube, a 5 alt hook would be a better choice than a 2 alt size. And a 4 alt hook would work much better in a 7.5 inch worm than a 2 alt. Let me tell you, that hook, it's, it's a dandy. Uh-oh, here we go. Oh, baby. Got it so far down in your face, I don't think you're gonna throw it. Turn around, there we go. Woo! You did have it down in there. There it is. Fatty. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. 
get you a little perfume. So it'll smell good. Today's show is brought to you in part by Quantum Rods and Reels, Quantum Performance Tuned, Mystic Lubricants, Lubrication Domination, and Tracker Boats, Fish the Finest. Today's Equipment Log is brought to you by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley Catch More Fish. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. These have a straight weed guard on them, as you can see right here. This weed guard right here, and it's pretty weedless. But what you can do, you can make it a little bit more weedless if you'll take a pair of needle nose pliers and catch it right here and bend it at an L shape, just catch it right here and just bend it. It gives the point of the hook more surface, more so than just that straight weed guard coming up. There it goes. Where does it stop? Nobody knows. And a well rope you in. There we go. Big old fat. How fat that is. <laughs> Look at that big old stomach. Woo. Gonna go back home. They get up here beside this boat. And they don't want to come in. Not at all. Boy, it smells just like a crawfish. I mean, just like one. You got everything working for you. You got a bait that looks like a crawfish. You got to present it like a crawfish, and it smells like a crawfish. You don't want to overpower these type baits. A crawfish just doesn't move fast. It just kind of creeps along. When it goes forward, it just kind of moves like this. And when it swims backwards it it, it flicks along it swims and then when it stops it just kind of glides when it falls since we're on this all new product review let me show you a product that's not all that new but it's pretty new it's helped me make a living and that is that guy right back there that mercury motor this engine's a go-getter Mercury's 250 Pro XS. She's powerful, efficient, lightweight, has super acceleration that's light and quick. She's everything you need to travel faster, farther, and harder. And I ain't kidding. Right now, I've located a few bass on this long point that extends out about 75 yards out into the lake. All I'm doing here is making 30 to 40 foot fan casts catching one here and one there. What's happening, I'll catch a few, leave, come back a little later, and catch a few more. Looking at this illustration, you can get an idea of what we're fishing. As I said, this point extends out some 70 to 80 yards with a depth of five to six feet on top, dropping off quickly on all three sides into deeper water.
I'm all around on this side, old man. Ready to come aboard, old boy? Here we go. Boom! The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. You know, this is a very, very unique system. The fact that uh, it's easy to install in this, this base plate. You just drop it and it goes right to the bottom. So it just creates that arch and pulls that undesirable water back in, the low DO water, and brings it right back into the bubbling system and carries it right back to the surface. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley, catch more fish. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. And by Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter, sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. There are many places you don't want to be hauling your boat when your bearings go out. For example, you don't want to be in rush hour traffic or on some back road in the middle of nowhere. And that's why I use Mystic JT6 bearing grease. The definition of reliable Mystic allows me to always get there and back. And if you pack your bearings with Mystic, the same reliability will be yours as well. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. Okay, you know, I know many bass fishermen who love to fish for crappie. Here's another one. And recently, one asked me these four questions about equipment when long poling. Now, when long poling for crappie, four things are important when it comes to your equipment. One, a long pole at least 10 feet in length with a sensitive tip and adequate backbone is extremely important. When long poling for crappie, four things are important when it comes to your equipment. A long rod at least 10 feet in length with a sensitive tip and adequate backbone. My favorite is this rod I designed for Bass Pro and Cabela's. It's a 10 foot crappie rod in a one piece design. Two, a superior line, highly visible with good abrasion resistance. Three, a quality built lightweight reel with a smooth drag system like this Zebco trigger span. Four, an attractive jig that you must have with the right size and color. And finally, well, that's up to you to put it in the correct location with the right presentation. Okay, before we get out of here, let me show you a neat little product, the Power Pole Spike. You know, anglers looking for a way to make their smaller boats stay put in shallower water. Tell you what, check out the Power Pole Heavy Duty Spike. Now the spike, what it does, it helps hold smaller boats exactly where you want to keep them. It also secures the bow of bass boats. I use mine on my bass boat a lot that have power poles even in the back. Each spike comes with a nylon dock line and push grips that help you easily sink it into sand or mud. Need to say, ouch, if you need to stay steady like in one spot just spike the spot and you can fish there for as long as you want that really makes it handy because you can just spike that spot and fan cast an area and pull the spike up move down and fan cast, you know spike it again and just move down and fan cast that area so it works exceptionally well ideal for small boats get out of the bushes
shaking that head. And we've had a nice day and we certainly hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the new and latest products that I'm sure will help you with your fishing. And until our lines cross again, thanks so much for tuning in and we'll catch you next time here on Bill Dance Outdoors and the Outdoor Channel. See ya. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. No, I'm going fishing with Bill Dance today.